We're here in Poughkeepsie, New York, home of the Hudson Valley Renegades, and we're talking with Torrington's own Connor Bierfeld, who now is a member of the Aberdeen Ironbirds, which is a classic minor league name. You could, it's almost as good as the Vermont Lake Monsters, and Mike <laughs> yeah. Fabiasi was part of it. So that was part of it, Connor. You wanted to end up on a team with a great name. So how yeah, you doing? Definitely. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Couldn't be happy the first three weeks. The uh, the dream has come true. I mean, you and I were talking back on a very hectic draft day yeah, yeah. where you weren't quite sure what sure. was going on. You didn't want to know what was going no, on. You left town so you didn't have to figure out yeah. what was going on. Yeah. Could you imagine a couple weeks later, you have traveled to you know different parts in this New York Penn League. How's it been? Awesome, awesome. The places we've been is incredible. Like from Staten Island to Brooklyn to Aberdeen itself. Um, and where is Aberdeen located? Northern Maryland. Northern Maryland, okay. Right, right off of 95. You see the stadium when you're off. Do you really? Yeah, okay. Kind of like here, right? Right yeah. off 84, yeah, you yeah, say? Yeah, 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 okay. exactly. Now, uh, you know, compare what you've seen so far with the pitching and the hitting compared to how you were prepared for this. Anything from, you know, high school to American Legion and what you're playing with the uh, Futures Collegiate Baseball League last year. I mean, how different is this level? It's uh, it's more consistently good. You saw, you saw glimpses of in the Futures League, which was a great experience which I think got me uh, mentally prepared for this. But, um, I mean, every every day you're going to see a kid that got drafted, a professional baseball player. So that's the biggest adjustment is just seeing the kind of the, the pitchers, the best pitchers every single day and uh, being being prepared to, to play against the best every day. Now, how about the, uh, you know, the road trip? So you're taking the bus most places, you're flying, what are you doing? Uh, buses, buses. So you're used to that bus trip that you yeah, took from the FCB. I'll help when you went up to Old yeah. Orchard Beach like yeah. they did last night, right? Titans, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's not. It hasn't been bad so far. We've been like four hours today. Was or this this trip was the worst. But okay, three four hours. We got to go to Vermont soon. Eight hours. But it's, it's nothing more than nothing. Nothing that I haven't been used to. There you go. And, and you're you're a professional baseball player, so it's part of your job to you know get on the bus. Hey, I've always heard from different folks the accommodations get a little bit better depending upon where you go. So now you're at so, you know the short so. season league here in the New York Penn. So as you work your way up, um, you know. Your work ethic was always something that helped you and got you here. Yeah. Um, how is it varied now with just playing baseball all the time, the routine of on the road and doing it? Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. Like I said, like I, I try to play as much baseball as I could, but now to have everyone like from the coaching staff to the strength guy helping you every single day, it's just it's it's awesome. It's like a dream come true because I mean now I'm getting paid to do what I've always done, just for fun. So sure. And talk about that, like trainers and stuff like that, and a hitting coach and the rest. I mean. How much have they been able to help you? Have they tinkered a lot with you? or Unbelievable. It's just small things. Like the hitting coordinator came in town for the organization a couple days ago, and within within 30 seconds he fixed something that, I mean, I already feel better. And then today, I kind of, uh, I was just hitting BP early work at 3 o'clock, and the coach, Matt Marullo, uh, came up to me and said, try this. Boom. And it was my, maybe my best BP session of the year. So it's unbelievable. Like the little things that they see here and there, that's why they're there, because they're like the best of the best. And the strength guy, too has been unbelievable because I, I haven't really had a guy um, that I've had kind of come under my under his wing and showed me what to do. I kind of just been on myself for lifting. So now to have him here, it's just I already feel better. And then two two weeks of lifting with him, I feel like a different person. And you know, it's a long season. You know, I mean, so you really have to. You know, you, you played some ball with Tri-State this this year, I did, didn't yeah, you? Before you came two, up, two two or three games. Okay, yeah. just to yeah. keep yourself. Yeah, you know, exactly. um, what do you got to say to the folks back home in uh, in Torrington? Thank you, thank you for uh, everything they've done. I mean, last summer was awesome to play there and to have them come out every single day. And then started from little league and up through high school and legion. They always the people that followed me and everything, everyone that's, that's helped along the way. So I just want to say thank you. So you're living the dream. Living the dream. I saw, I I, uh, I got off the bus today. I was just in my iPod and I was in my college shirt and my shorts, kind of dressed up a little bit. And I was walking to the locker room, and just smiled, kind of just looked around. I'm, I'm going to work right now at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Pinching yourself all along the way, yep, right? Absolutely, every time I wake up. There you go. Hitting in the four spot tonight. Four spots, so, I yeah. mean, you're the cleanup hitter. That's what uh, Matt was talking to me yesterday. I gave him the day off and said he kind of felt bad because he didn't want to, like, if I had people visiting, he didn't want them to miss me playing. But I said, it's all right. I mean, he said, listen, coming from where you came from, from Division Three, and now you're hitting four in a professional baseball team. It doesn't get much better than that, which is true. Excellent. Looking forward to seeing you tonight. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much.